I'm Nick Groom, I'm 26 and I play rugby for Western Province and the Stormers. I'm a pretty relaxed guy. I love Cape Town and everything it has to offer. The mountains, the beaches, the ocean. Um, I really enjoy the simple life. I grew up in a caring Christian home and I always had faith in Jesus. But in high school my faith seriously started to weaken. I think I had a really religious attitude towards faith instead of a, a living relationship with the living God. After school, I went to the Western Province Rugby Institute um, as part of an academy-style program where 60 of South Africa's most promising rugby players um, were put into a hostel for a year to get a taste of what it's like to become a professional rugby player. I remember getting there and, and having these hectic goals. Um, I wanted to be the strongest player, I wanted to be the fittest player, um, I wanted to be the guy who works the hardest. My priorities were rugby, family, friends, being liked by others and then lastly God. So at the end of that year I managed to achieve all my goals um, but unfortunately I still wasn't chosen for the Western Province team and I ended up leaving the institute without a contract. I remember this being a really confusing time for me because I had worked so hard and achieved all my goals but I, I still left without a contract. I started asking some really big questions about life and faith in general. I remember in varsity I had this unexplainable urge to go to church which was rare at that time. Um, I got there and I remember seeing a couple rows in front of me was a good mate of mine, a guy who you wouldn't find close to church. And um, I remember a couple of weeks ago I'd been praying for this mate of mine. He'd been going through a really tough time. And that was also rare. I, I never used to pray for other people. I would always just pray for myself. At that moment it dawned on me that God had answered my prayer. And that was a really real feeling for me. So the penny seriously dropped and this God thing was actually real. That moment was kind of a catalyst for my life. I quickly realigned my priorities with God being at the top of the list. I got to discover who Jesus really was, the facts about his life, the way he lived, what he came to do. There was a real shift from God being some guy in the sky to an actual living person who captivated me. Things really changed after that. But first I had to face the challenge of letting go of my obsession with rugby. Amazingly, the moment I let go and literally said, God, here's this thing I've put a lot of effort and sacrifice into, it's all yours. If it's meant to go somewhere, you will make it happen. It was only then when the whole rugby thing really took off. Since then, God has really been good. My career has been brutal at times. I've played badly, I've been dropped, I've been written off by a lot of people. I've been blamed for things in the newspapers, but every hardship I believe needed to happen. Through those hardships, I've grown in character and reliance of God. I've, I've been taught some tough lessons about pride, about humility, about idolizing others, you know, about my identity being in God and not in my rugby career. My career really isn't the main thing in my life. Um, it's just a tool that God's using to grow me into a person um, that He wants me to be.